Welcome back to Biomes. This time we are talking about the Sondung Cave. Sondung Cave is located in the Quang Bin province in Vietnam, and it is the largest cave system in the entire world that we've discovered thus far. It is, as far as we know right now, 9 kilometers long, and it has a total volume of 38 and a half million cubic meters. So that is a big fucking cave. It is so big that there are entire rainforest ecosystems contained within said cave. Now, there are two main rainforest locations located under dolines, which are kind of sinkholes that opened up in the roof of the cave, allowing sunlight in, which allows all of the trees and plants and everything to survive and thrive in an underground environment. The larger of these rainforests is called the Garden of Edom, and it is located under one of the dolines. Now, it's actually very tricky to find specifics on what types of plants and animals are actually found within the Sondung cave. So this is slightly more of a broad overview because I really could not find easily a lot of specifics. Now, some of the plants within the Sondung cave include multiple types of palms, as well as different types of climbing and hanging vines, begonias, many, many types of ferns, I would assume wild orchids and stuff like that. And then as you get further away from the doline kind of light, it becomes more mosses and lichens and algaes instead of actual plants. It also has a very, very interesting geology in it, such as these guys, which are cave pearls. Since the Sondung cave was kind of created out of a very large limestone deposit kind of worn away by water, there's a very interesting rock formation, and some of the largest stalagmites and stalactites in the entire world. Of course, since Sondung cave is largely isolated from the outside environment, there are a lot of unique endemic species, such as types of isopods and centipedes and millipedes. There's been a couple brand new species of blind scorpions found in the caves, as well as things like white spiders, and a couple other more common and not endemic to the area cave spiders and scorpions. There's also a couple unique species of blind cave fish, which have no eyeballs at all. There's also bats found in the caves, largely flying foxes, but also other types of bats. And the bats are also incredibly important. They are pretty much one of the key features to sustaining the rainforest ecosystems found in the caves, because the guano, or bat shit, that the bats produce provide the fertilizer that helps these trees grow. Without the bats, there would not be these trees. Now, as for less stereotypical cave animals, there's also quite a lot of things found there that normally are not found in the caves, such as monkeys, like this one, the white-cheeked gibbon. The populations of monkeys in the Sondung Caves are the only primates that live pretty much entirely underground, and even though they are found in the rainforest areas under the dolines, they are considered to be underground populations. Another species of a monkey found in the Sondung Cave is the Hatin Langer, and there's other mammal species found there as well, including flying squirrels and mice and rats. I also saw mentions of many different snake species found in the Sondun cave, however, I couldn't find what specific snake species there were. And there's also been reports of the Saola, one of the rarest mammals in the world being found in these caves. I'm not sure how true that is, I don't know if this has been confirmed or not, but there has been kind of reports and videos hunting for the Asian unicorn, which is the Saola, that that did partially at least take place around the Sondun cave, so there is a possibility that these guys can be found in there. However, they are incredibly rare in general, and they would be quite hard to find because the Sondun caves are pretty much left alone. And while there are tourists allowed in the Sondun caves, they are very, very exclusive tours, and the caves have very high security around them, so you can't just walk into the caves. You have to be part of a guided tour. 
and these tours only take so many people a year in order to conserve as best possible the Sandun cave system, which is an incredibly unique ecosystem that is found nowhere else in the world. There isn't anything remotely like this cave system with all of the giant stalagmites and stalactites, with the rainforest, with the endemic and unique animals, with the possibility of the very rare saola or Asian unicorn being found in it. And there are also research teams that go in a little bit more frequently and explore areas that are not allowed by tourists, but again, that is also very rare in order to conserve the cave as much as possible.